Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is day 61 of Daily CGI. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just a quick update letting you know what I've been studying tonight. As always, uh, this time I did some 2D drawing and 2D animation just to change things up a little bit. I've got nothing to show you. It's all just very rudimentary uh, practice. I'm starting to notice a slight improvement in my drawing skill. Um, I've gone from extremely bad to just that very bad so <laughs> uh, slight improvement which is actually quite reassuring um, I continued reading Disney's illusion of life book I'm up to there's a page on speed lines staggers and vibrations so I'm about 117 pages in um, it's interesting how they've structured this book at first they introduced the uh, 12 fundamentals or main principles of animation, but then they branch off into uh, specific animators over the years and sort of their co contribution at the time to uh, Disney Studios. So, yeah, just uh, going through at a fairly decent pace on that. I will say the quality of this book is uh, just extremely disappointing. The book itself, the content itself is fantastic, but the print quality leaves so much to be desired. If I'd known mine was this flawed, I would have asked for a different copy and taken it back to the store. <laughs> oh, man, but now I'm stuck with it. It's been so long, I think. Um, yeah, basically the, uh, I'm getting ghosting on, I've had ghosting on a few pages where the, uh, sentences are repeated twice and sort of overlapping each other slightly, which sucks. And then on other pages, through all, all throughout the book, basically it looks like the ink, uh, the black ink is running out and you can barely make out individual words at times. It's terrible. It's so thin. And then um, on other pages, you can see that they clearly replace the ink and it's a fresh uh, ink cartridge or an ink, uh, you know, tank or whatever, whatever they use industrially. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that leaves a lot to be desired by beware. At 90 bucks, you'd expect better. Um, but the content itself is fantastic. Anyway, in regards to Blender, I tried out an, an add-on that I hadn't used before. This is Anim Extras, and basically you can use it to create a 3D onion skinning type of effect. So I'll show you real quick. Um, we'll just move this to the left here. Frame one, frame 10, we'll move it uh, here. 20, we'll move it over to the right, and then we'll move it up and back, 30 and 40, and call it there. Right. If you apply the set onion to selected with this add-on and then you just chuck a couple of amount on, um, you can see the blue is the future frames and the red is the past frames. So um, as you can see, it works like onion skin. So that was kind of cool. Just as a different visual representation than just the motion path, I felt like this might add something. I was experimenting with it. Um, practically, I don't know how useful it would be, but um, it's always better to have more options as opposed to less options, I think. Um, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else? Anything at all? No, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm calling it for the day. Hope you have a good one, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.